Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn about while loops within Python in Blender. And so, some things to, to take note is this is actually really similar to a couple other concepts that we've covered in the past, or that you might have seen in my other videos. Uh, one of which is the for loop. It is very similar to the for loop, and often, actually, in this case today, we're going to recreate the for loop as a while loop. So go ahead, if you haven't, you can go ahead and either copy this or just look at mine if you'd like to while I do this. So you can take a, pa take a minute, pause it, and copy it down, or just go ahead and just pay attention to what mine says. So I have this for loop, and what it does is it creates a cube um, at i times by 2 on the y-axis. So every i at i0, it's going to be there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 20. So let's go ahead and start with our while loop. To call a while loop, you just say while. And then you just declare the condition that you want it to do uh, until, I guess, let me explain that a little better. A while loop will keep doing something until it meets a condition. So, like for instance, a while loop, this for loop could be restated into a while loop by saying while i is less than 20. Uh, because in the range, we have from 0 to 20, while i is less than 20. Could be the same statement as for i in range 20. So let's go ahead and write that down, uh, or type it down. It can be said just like that. While i is less than 20, then call this. And I'm just going to copy and paste it. You can type in bpy.ops.mesh primitive at cube add without parameters and bpy.ops.transform.translate. And that's the value parameter that is set equal to 0, comma, i times 2, comma, 0, which just moves it i times 2 on the uh, y axis. So what's interesting about this is these statements are nearly the same right now. In fact, they almost look identical. The only difference is we have a for and a while here. Um, generally, while using a while statement, you wouldn't just use i. Like you would use some other condition or parameter, like while something is true or while something is false within it. Um, and it would keep doing something until it is true or false. And then it would get out of the while loop. Uh, but this is a really good example of how similar the for and while loops can be. So let's just set i equal to 0 because we want to start at 0. If we didn't have this, i wouldn't know, i isn't ever set to anything. It's, it's a null object or, or it's just empty. So an empty less than 20, the computer has no idea what to do. So we just set it equal to 0. So now it's 0 is less than 20, then run this. And right now, it would just keep running this forever. And in fact, it will cause a program fault. And if we run this, you can actually see that it crashed my blender. OK, so now that I've gotten that fixed, I've got my blender back up and going. Um, hopefully, this lines up well so you can see what's going on. But this should be exactly the same uh, file, or really close. If nothing else, I just retyped it back in. But you can see that it didn't work. It actually just crashed our Blender, which is bad. So don't hit Run Script. I hope you haven't already. It might be too late for that. Uh, but do we do we know why? And the answer is yes. Of course we know why. Uh, it's because I will never get greater than 20 if we don't make it bigger than 20. So all we got to do is go down here and do i is equal to i plus 1. That's it. And this should actually run just fine now. Uh, let's take out our for loop here. And if we run the script, we now have exactly the same thing as our for loop. I hope that this has been uh, good and that you've learned something out of this while loop tutorial. And once again, thanks for again for watching. Um, and check out some more check, check out some more of the videos. Yep. Bye.